Hi friends, this is Praveen and uh, we are trying to learn about the PHP built-in methods and today I'm going to train about string built-in methods in PHP. So to get started with string built-in methods, all that requires is first you need to make sure your XAMPP is running. In my case, this is running right. Okay, the next thing you have to follow up is your path of the htdocs where you need to save your files. I've got my CXAMPP htdocs. Inside htdocs, I've got tutorials. In tutorials, I've got built-in methods. In built-in methods, I have a string built-in methods. So edit this file. You're supposed to be having this link with an external link. We have link somewhere what internal link. We have a h2 tag which says string built-in methods in PHP and we have one h1 tag which is having a basic string built-in method. So how exactly the page is looking like is, let's try to access this in browser. Now you can see that this is where you call your page with localhost tutorial built-in methods in PHP that are in string built-in methods. So I do believe that the code that you're watching right now is string built-in methods in PHP that's got a h2 tag there. And this is h2 here. And the next thing we have is h1, which is stating about basic string built-in methods in PHP with h1 got close and we have got div connected. So these things have been connected with the styles of div with the link tag which is specifying with the current location of style1.css. So you might be finding the same file here on my files that I'm giving you as an access to download. Search this, edit this file, and you might be having some inbuilt div and h1 with some styling effects. So anything got affected with div, there could be a possibility of this things happening with the div tag. So I'm doing something with div here. So let's try to create a kind of string we have before we get into this so before we get into this I just want to go with something like I want to create a string so dollar str is equal to I'm going to go with some name of the string so I got some UK font keyword so I'm just shifting it to US okay we have something like a institute so we have a method got Amit Institute here but in this case I would like to go with Amit like this and somewhat like I am capital letters because I have got some meanings to it so let's try to bring the original string original string which is what you have created is it dollar str now print back and see that on your browser so I'm going to go with your browser and refresh this page oh god we didn't got something like yeah original string we have Amit Institute and this capital that's how I created in my business right now to know to know the length of the given string the length always starts from 1 so you can go with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 11 12 13 14 15 so that's got a length of 15 but further before we get access into deep diving into the subject you should go with my notes we have notes here in that we have a string built-in methods so edit this file and this is where I'm going to train you about length of the string, converting the given string into uppercase, lowercase, and you can go with UC first, UC words. Okay, so let's get into the subject. So here is where I'm writing the code. So let's try to find the length of the given string. Length of given string is equal to, in PHP you have to use str len of dollar str. And just go for break here. Now you can see that the length of the given string is, I've got something like, we still got buffering. So we have length of the given string is 15. So if you count from one, this is what it gives. The next thing is, I want to go for something like uppercase given string is equal to, just write down str to upper. This will allow us to convert the given string into uppercase. So you can see that here, the given string is now converted to uppercase. That's what is Amit Institute. Uh, but the original string is still n capital, but here you can see entire string converted to uppercase. In the same way we have converting this into lowercase. lowercase given string str2 lower okay and just write down dollar str and go for a break and execute this on your browser so I do see that this is all 
lowercase though the original string got created with n capital here but this is still converting to lowercase okay let's try to go for something like uppercase first character is equal to see guys well, oh, well let's try to go for first this you see first first of dollar str when I do this I do see that we have the very first character of the given string would be converted to uppercase but in this case the original string yeah the first character is converted to uppercase but there would be a possibility the user might have given anywhere in between the string also uppercase that won't be removed so if you want to remove the given strings into lower and then convert everything to the very first character upper so you might be going with first converting everything to lower so just use this str2 lower just go for this and first what you are doing is the given string is being converted to lowercase and then you are using the advantage of uc first so this is how you are overcoming the problems with the situations right so wherein can i use this things so maybe i can give you an example here i've got in my desktop a registration form so let's try to go and edit this file here uh, if I would ask a user to write Amit this guy might have given his name like this so I'm going to first convert every character into lowercase and I might be using only the very first character to uppercase that's what I'm explaining here okay okay let's try to dive into the next topic we have something called First, we'll go for enter echo. Sorry for that echo. Uppercase first character on every word. You might be using this for UC word words of dollar str dollar str. So if you do this, you can expect the user. To go for or access this very first character of every word to be uppercase so let's try to go and see this see guys we have a capital here and the second word of the first character is also upper but we don't know whether this guy might have given anything like this so what we'll do is this guy might have given the second care word something like this ready so first we'll convert everything into lowercase so to do that you should be doing the same thing here as the technique we have already done we'll first convert str to lower then we will go for uc words in this case it will make sure that every word of first character would be uppercase but rest of the things will be lowercase so that's what i'm accessing here yeah this got solved okay next we have something like repeating the given string or let's try to go for not repeating we'll go for reverse of the given string okay so to do the reverse of the given string you can use reverse of the given string is equal to strreb and just go for your original string so whatever your original string that a user is entering that would be converted to reverse of the characters so we have got Amit and institute like this okay in the same way we have something called just let me go and see the nodes what exactly we have got access we have converted length we have converted or uh, completed uppercase lowercase we have also convert completed uc first uc words well, i didn't completed position of the given string we'll get back to that let me see yeah we'll go for replace so what exactly replace function will do let me go and show you that so we will go for replacing the given string replace the given string is equal to str underscore replace of this particular string so guys what exactly replace of a given string will do replace would first take the idea the similarity value in your given string so the value i want to search is amit sorry go for quotations there Amit and the next thing you have to go for is you have to think about what word you want to replace with Amit so I want to replace Amit with Wipro Wipro and 
what is the original string you want to do with so the original string is dollar str so what exactly it will do is replace is a predefined function which will take the first matching word in a given string str and replaces with the second word what you passed as wipro so if you can see this i've got like wipro institute but this doesn't affect the permanent value it will only change on the very line you are using replace if you bring back the original string it will never be wipro institute again so if you bring back original string original string still will be amit institute okay so that's replace we have one more thing called i want to go with replacing the given string replacing the given string but this time i'm going to go with institute institute with uh, something like technologies so is the case guys in my string of dollar str i definitely have an institute word but i'm not sure that institute is uppercase or lowercase so i'm not really sure with that but yeah that exists i want to change it with technologies like this but i'm not sure with the word what exactly is an uppercase or lowercase so in these kinds of situations what we'll do is we'll go and try how exactly it will do if if a particular word this replace function is case sensitive and the word if doesn't exist it won't change the original string it still serves amit institute so if you're not sure with what kind of character is it upper or lowercase you better go for str i replace okay this would make the word case insensitive and that will be changing to technologies now if you can see this when i execute this page okay this is going for amit technologies so this is what you can work with your strings and let's try to go for anything else we have to go with i replace is finished we are going complete a reverse okay we have something like str underscore repeat so repeat will take the original string and repeat for multiplied times of how many times you want it uh, repeat the given string so let's try to go and see so i'm going to go with repeat the given string so i'm going to say repeat the given string is equal to str underscore repeat 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 is a predefined function which will take the original string St original string name is str wherein you can find str as amit institute and this would be going and taking that particular value and will be repeating this for the next five times or four times whatever you want so what i would be doing in this case is i want to go with let's try to go and see what exactly we can do here so let's try to go and see I'm going to execute this file and I've got like Amit Institute Amit Institute Amit Institute so that's what it is giving you maybe I'll just go for another try something like new okay so for this I need to think so give me a second here so guys what exactly I'm expecting here is that uh, I want I want this Amit Institute not going like this on a single line i want out of it a break so i want to repeat it though five times but i want them to be carried up with breaks so what would i do is i will just go for following up with a single argument because it just take two arguments so in this argument with every string i'm just joining a break so this is altogether a first argument repeat is taking with every string has got followed up with breaks and this is going to be multiplying this repeat for the next five times so if I could access this page, I would be expecting this repeated this many times. But guys, I want to be on a single line. So what I'll do is I'll just pass a break here. And maybe I can just push up a HR. Okay, so you might be going with this here. So this is going to give you a repeat the given string. We'll go for underline so that it would be neat here, bold, underline. And I'll just go with underline got close, bold got close and i hope we have got something to do with breaks oh god i did on a wrong line so i'm not supposed to be doing here i'm going to be pushing this here just give me a second there so x mark i'm going to do that here okay and the next thing we will follow up with this string and go for this copy now x mark paste it here now i hope you got the right idea of what i have done 
so Amit Institute is being multiplied for five times so this is where you can use your techniques so I hope you got the understanding about your string built-in methods but we have just gone through a walk through about some something around 10% of the built-in function so hopefully I understood that this is a very simple things that we have just gone with now we are going to learn about your position of the given string that is somewhere here so guys before I continue I would like to tell you that this video is going to carry till here as my first video you would be having a next video continuing with this on a video 2 so I hope you can have the idea about in video 2 how to control about your passwords so how do you control your password and make this to be encoded okay you're going to encrypt these passwords so that the owners will not be able to access your password the visibility of the password should not be given to any privileged users so how do you encrypt your password these kinds of techniques we will learn on a video too okay guys and I hope you have to subscribe me for uh, coming videos that you are going to access so please do subscribe my videos as I can upload many videos you would have an intimation of my next videos coming on your emails and I do want you to like my video and have a like there and I'll be continuing your second video go walk through my second video on string built-in methods bye bye guys